Hey guys, this is Satya. Hope you are doing well today. Today, in this particular video, I would like to explain you about the CSS tutorials. And in this particular video, I would like to explain you about the CSS, CSS tutorials, which is a cascading order of using multiple styles into one sheet. By end of this video, we will be able to learn how to utilize all the three different style sheets into one HTML document. And the three different styles which are used in CSS are the first one is the external style sheet and the second one is the internal style sheet and the final last one is the inline styles. The cascading order. What style will be used when there is more than one style specification for an HTML element? Generally speaking, when we can say that all the styles will cascade into a new virtual style sheet by the following rules where number one has the highest priority. And the number one is the inline style which is given inside an HTML element and the second would be an external and internal style sheets in the inline head section and the third would be a browser default value. So an inline style which is specified into an HTML element has the highest priority which means that it will override the style defined inside the head tag or an external style sheet or a browser default value. Now let's see the real time example for multiple style sheets in HTML file. How we go ahead and use different types of multiple style sheets in one single HTML document file. Let's get started off. Now I'm taking an example of a simple CSS HTML notepad wherein I have written the HTML, I have written the header, I have written the body, I have written the H1, the heading as using multiple style sheets into one HTML document. I am trying to give this as a header which is a H1 and I have written three different paragraphs with the same text which is this is a simple example of using multiple style sheet in a single document. So I have given this as a paragraph for three different lines and I've close the body and HTML. Now let's see what is the output, the normal raw output of this particular document. So in this way we will be getting the output wherein we do not have any kind of you know styles applied for it, we do not have any kind of you know specific fonts given or any background colors which are given to this particular HTML document. Now let's understand to use the three different style sheets which are available in our CSS to implement into this particular HTML document and change the features in this particular document. Now let's get started off. First into this particular HTML document, I would like to add an external style sheet. Important observation or an important information is whenever we are going ahead and adding an external style sheet, we will have to write a separate document for an external style sheet, what we are going ahead and doing it and we will have to save that particular file with .css extension and I am going ahead and doing the same over, over here right now. So I have opened a new notepad and tried to write a script over here. I am trying to give a body, floor bracket open with the background color as light gray. Let's change it as light green with a semicolon and closing this. And I would also want the H1 to be in a color. Here it is written as blue. We'll try to give it as gray and the margin left which is 20 pixel it's okay. So this is the external style which I am you know going ahead and writing it and I am trying to save this file with .css mode. So this file is saved by the name mystyle.css extension. So I am saving this file. Now I would want to apply this particular file or this particular external style to my HTML document. This is my HTML document and I would want to go ahead and give that style to this HTML document. Now let's see how can we do that. I'm writing a simple text over here. I'm just linking that external style sheet. 
and you can see the syntax for the same the syntax for the same would be this has to be written in between header it is we will have to give the anchor brackets followed by the link Arial is equal to style sheet the type is equal to text forward slash CSS and the h reference is equal to mystyle.css I am giving mystyle.css because I have saved this particular external style sheet with the name mystyle.css that is the reason I am applying this particular you know syntax in this particular way I am saving this now let's see how the output will be and this way the output will be so wherein I have gone ahead and given the format or given the font colors or the background colors in the external file and I just wanted to give the link of that particular external file in my HTML view in the HTML file document and I am just doing a refresh wherein the complete format of this particular document has been changed. Now for the same document I would also want to go ahead and give the internal style sheet and in order to give the internal style sheet I have a different specific object or a syntax which has to be utilized and I'm mentioning this so I'm applying this particular internal style over here while you're writing the internal style you will have to mention it as style you will have to open the open style tag then give the style whatever you are you you would want to go ahead and give I, I just wanted to you know give a background color again it is written as Lenin and I'm closing this style and I'm saving this particular file now let's see what will be the output you can see the output has been changed you can observe one thing over here that we have given the background color in the external sheet as well and we have given the background color to the internal sheet as well but the priority for the for in this particular situation will be the last given application that is the reason wherein you have given the background color over here as Lenin it has been changed now for the same document I would want to go ahead and give the inline style the inline style is nothing but in a specific HTML document if you want to go ahead and give a specific style for any specific paragraph or a specific line you can go ahead and give that now we'll see how can that can be worked this is my HTML document I would want to give a specific color or a specific background or a specific you know line identification for a specific paragraph so this is my paragraph identified I would want to go ahead and give the line style for this let's see how can we do that I'm trying to give an inline style to this line let's see how does this go this is P so in this particular line I would want the style to be in a color red and margin to be in a left with 30 percent 30 pixels and it closes with a colon and apostrophe and close this particular tag I'm saving this and I'm trying to refresh over here you can see the difference wherein the complete file is with you know one font or uh, one color in this particular paragraph I'm talking about and this particular line has been changed to a different color and if you want to go ahead and give the same kind of a script to the next paragraph you can still do that here I would like to give the color as blue I'm saving this try to refresh over here you will get the same output and I would want to give the same kind of output to the third line as well here I would like to change the color to maroon and I'm saving this file let's see how what will be the output this is what the output is so in this way we will be going ahead and giving the 
inline style for a specific line wherein you can change the specific font or a specific color of a specific line or a specific paragraph if you see over here initially there was no color specification for any line it was complete black default black now i have given a specific line statement for a specific line or a paragraph wherein we have changed the colors for three different colors over here and we have given the background color and we have given the header color so in this way in this particular document i have used the css style cascading systems three different styles into one particular html document by using the external style the internal style and the inline style so this is the example a best example of using three different css styles in one html document i hope you all have liked this particular video and understand the concept of using three different css styles in one html document thank you for watching this video please do subscribe for our channel and please post your valuable comments as well thanks for watching this video once again